Hello, and welcome to the Senior Awards presentation. I'm Julia Chaff, the principal at Gilbert High School, and I can't tell you how gratifying it is to be celebrating our seniors tonight. One of the things that's come up repeatedly in conversations with families in the past year is all of the things that were lost to our seniors. Lost celebrations, lost opportunities, so much loss. What makes tonight particularly meaningful and special for all of us is how much our seniors have accomplished in spite of all of these losses. What a remarkable testimony of their resolve and dedication as students and young adults. I know we're all tremendously proud of them. They deserve to be recognized and honored. So let us begin tonight's celebration. On behalf of the art department, I would like to congratulate the following seniors. Haley Jackson, Ceramics 3. Julia Decker, Sculpture 1. For seniors, Painting 1, Miles Montalvo. Lauren Skolan, Advanced Placement Drawing. Lauren Skolan, the Charles Daniel Hubbard Award. Haley Jackson, the Patricia Hanlon St. John Award. Haley Jackson, the Special Arts Tutor Award. Devin Ralston, the Special Arts Tutor Award. Congratulations, seniors. Hi, my name is George Cooksey and I'm proud to represent the English department at Guilford High School as we honor those students who have distinguished themselves in their English courses this year. Our first award is an award for general excellence in the course of senior English. The award goes to Nicholas Salato. Michael Earl. Samuel Huffman. Moira Kelleher. London La Rose. Maya Mao. Kyle Mastroni. Claire Pringle. Sophia Watrous. And Noel Williams. The award for excellence in IB Literature A goes to Reese Puchalski, and Juliet Young.
We are also presenting two special awards tonight, as we have every year. The Joan Garber English Award is given in honor of a beloved retired English teacher who taught AP English at GHS for years. She challenged students, stretched their thinking, and held them to rigorous standards of quality and effort. The student being recognized tonight has not only achieved excellence herself as an analytical, critical, and creative thinker, she has, all, she has also acted as a catalyst for her classmates in their pursuit of excellence. This year, we are proud to award the Joan Garber Award for Overall Excellence in AP Literature to Emma Rollins. Our second special award is given in honor of Leland Stowe, who was a graduate of Guilford High School over 100 years ago. He also studied at Wesleyan and became one of the most honored journalists of his time, a foreign affairs and war correspondent who gained international acclaim for his vivid accounts, exclusive stories, and scoop reporting. Stowe won a Pulitzer Prize in 1930 for his coverage of the Paris War Reparations Conference. This year, we are proud to award the Leland Stowe Prize for Excellence in Writing to Veronica Zimmer. Congratulations to all of our award winners. Well done. Hello, my name is Barbara Tokarska, and I'm proud to represent the math department as we recognize this year's award recipients for their outstanding effort and achievement in mathematics. The first award is for IB Mathematics 12, and this award goes to Veronica Zimmer. The next award is for AP Calculus AB. And in this course, we would like to recognize Molly McCann. Moira Kelleher. And Annika Buersdorf. For AP Calculus BC, we recognize Reese Puchalski. For AP Statistics, Reese Puchalski. And Molly McCann. The Henry S. Beers Award recognizes the most outstanding student who has excelled in mathematics over the course of four years at Guilford High School. This year, the award goes to Reese Puchalski. And finally, the Charlotte Elton Cross Service Award. Charlotte Elton Cross was a beloved Guilford citizen who spent countless hours volunteering as a tutor at the high school for students struggling in math. In her honor, we annually recognize students who volunteer and give service to the math department in various ways. On behalf of the math department, this year we'd like to recognize Kira Stinkowicz. Congratulations to all the award recipients. My name is Tom Boats. 
and I am the department chair for the Guilford High School Music Department. It is my pleasure and honor to present to you our senior students who are being recognized this evening for their outstanding achievement in music performance for their exceptional service to our music department in this year. We want to thank all of our senior students for all of their wonderful work and effort and musicianship and their personalities throughout all these four years, and we wish them so much the best in their future. Here are the students. For Outstanding Achievement in Music, Tig Egan. Robert Haig. Sabrina Doria. Reese Puchalski. Maya Mao. Charlotte Shakara. Aiden Beauvais. Olivia Mead. Cassidy Planas. Sophia Rooser. Olivia St. Marie. And Wiley Bartels. Further, we wish to recognize the following seniors for their excellence in service to our music department and to their peers in all of our performing ensembles. They certainly made all of the director's jobs easier and helped very much bring about a positive learning environment for all. Tig Egan. Sabrina Doria. Samantha Gendro. Robert Haig. Caleb Harris. Maddie Knopschker. Vincent Masadi. Wiley Bartels. And Lily Paterzo. Congratulations to our senior class from the Gilton High School Music Department. Hello, my name is Scott McDowell and I'm the science chair at Guilford High School. I'd like to welcome you to this year's senior award ceremony. I'd like to start the awards by giving the Daniel Sinani Biology Award. The Daniel Sinani Biology Award is dedicated to a very well-respected science teacher and former science department head. Mr. Sinani had an easygoing manner that instilled trust and confidence while inspiring students and teachers alike. His passion for science was said to be contagious. This award is presented annually in his honor and is given to a student who shows that same contagious excitement for science. 
The individual must also demonstrate high academic achievement in the sciences, as well as share in Mr. Sinati's special passion for environmental science. This year's awardee is Julia Decker. The next award is the Lawrence Leap Biological Science Award. The Lawrence Leap Biological Science Award is given to a student that excels in the life sciences and has demonstrated exceptional achievement academically. This year's awardee is Caleb Harris. The next award is the Lawrence Lee Physical Science Award. The Lawrence Lee Physical Science Award is given to a student that excels in physical sciences and has demonstrated exceptional achievement academically. This year's awardee is Claire Pringle. The Society of Women Engineering Award. The Society of Women Engineers Award is given to a male and female student who excel in math and science. Awardees should also have interest in pursuing studies focused in science and mathematics in college. This year's first awardee is Annika Buersdorf. This year's second awardee is Reese. Pachalski. The Heckman Rajinsky Urban Award for Excellence in Advanced Placement Sciences. This award was created to honor three teachers who were known to be master teachers. They were teachers who looked at their students as individuals with limitless possibilities. Their students were known to go beyond what was required and achieve what they never thought they could. Students who are selected for this award are one of the top students that have completed an advanced placement course in biology, chemistry, and physics. They are truly the students that have demonstrated a lifelong love of science, and their academic success proves this without questions. Students who receive this award also have plans to continue building on their scientific knowledge throughout their postgraduate studies. This year's awardees are Anthony Ippolito, and Spesser O'Patterny. The Adele Salhanik Spirit of Science Award is given in honor of Dr. Adele Salhanik. A retired science teacher who embodied the spirit of science and science education. Dr. Sahanik is an individual that exemplifies the scientific drive that promotes lifelong learning through example. Scientific knowledge is accumulated through a series of exploration that yields success, but more commonly setbacks. Dr. Sahanik understands the journey and learning is the true reward and has always embedded this in her teaching of her students. Whether our students entered the science community after high school or moved on to other interests, Dr. Salhanik taught them a new way to look at the world that allows them to see the true beauty and diversity it has to offer. This year's awardee is Sabrina Doria. Our next award is the AP Biology Award. This award this year will be awarded to Nicholas Salato, Ronan McDermott, and Emma Rollins. Our senior AP Chemistry Award is being given to Reese Pachalski. Our senior AP Physics One Award is going to be given to Robert Haig.
our senior AP Physics 2 award is going to Anthony Ippolito. Our IB Biology Award this year is going to Claire Pringle. Our IB Chemistry Award is going to Nawal Toma. Our IB Physics Award is going to Joseph Palma. Our Early College Experience Environmental Science Award is going to Zofia Kearns. Haley Moriarty. and Luca Spinella. Our Anatomy and Physiology Award is going to Sophia Russer. Our Chemistry Award is going to Peter Kina. Our Environmental Science Award is going to Logan Markovich and Dahlia Sabia. Our Physics Award will be presented to Moira Kelleher. Olivia Mead and Catherine Meter. And our last awards for this year will be our Science Service Award. These are students that have helped our science teachers prepare for classes, prepare for labs, and they've shown an amazing dedication to our science department. They are Faith Anderson, Piper Tahini, and Maya Mao. I would like to congratulate all of our award recipients once again, and I would like to also commend all of the students receiving awards tonight for all the great work they do. Thank you. Greetings, everyone. My name is Mr. Ralph Russo, the Social Studies Department Chair at Gilbert High School. I'm very pleased to present tonight's award winners for their excellent work in social studies this year. We'll start our senior awards naming the award winners in the AP Yukon ECE Microeconomics and Macroeconomics course. Adam Afragola. Anthony Ippolito. Zoe McClure. Olivia Mead.
Congratulations to our AP Yukon ECE Microeconomics and Macroeconomics Award winners. For the study of AP Human Geography, the following students have demonstrated excellence. We like to acknowledge um, James Powers, a retired social studies teacher who taught this course for years. Um, the award is named the James Powers AP Human Geography Award. The first recipient is Emma Appleman. Peter Kiena. Maura Kelleher. Emma Mullet. And Sophia Rooser. Congratulations. In the study of principles of economics, the following students have demonstrated excellence. Julia Earle. Ethan Bertrand. Matthew Corso. In the study of International Baccalaureate History, level 12, following students have demonstrated excellence. Kiera Stankiewicz. Juliet Young. In the study of theory of knowledge, which is taught in grade 12 as part of our international baccalaureate program. The award winner is Veronica Zimmer. The last two awards in our social studies program go to um, students who've done uh, exceptional work, not only in the classroom, but outside the classroom. The first is our George C. Conway Award for Excellence in Government, which is awarded to students who have served um, a student government at, at Guilford High or been involved in community government, and community service in, um, in various capacities. Um, and these two students have been very involved in um, many aspects of our community um, in great leadership roles. The first recipient, Kiera Stankiewicz. And our second recipient is Julia Earle. And our last and a highly regarded award in the social studies department among the staff is the Grace Henlon Quinlan General Excellence Award. It's awarded to a student who's taken four years of social studies at Guilford High School, who's excelled um, in all four years of social studies. The following students have excelled um, by virtue of um, their academic performance in the classroom, and regard among the social studies staff. Sophia Rooser. Juliet Young. And Veronica Zimmer. Congratulations to all of our social studies award winners Thank you and good luck. Hi, my name is Kara Mulqueen Teasdale and I am proud to be the chair coordinator for the Guilford High School Theater Arts Program. 
Um, it has been a challenging year for those of us in the performing arts, but one of the things that has been most remarkable about the senior class is they have you know, risen to every challenge with incredible creativity, positivity, resilience, and um, just a joy for the performing arts that has been incredibly moving. Um, I'm proud to present the Theater Arts Department Awards this evening. Our first awards are our Excellence in Acting Awards. This award goes to a student whose role can range from a bit part to a secondary lead to a member of a chorus or ensemble. The recipient of this award not only created a well-crafted and nuanced performance, but made effective use of the craft of acting to portray his or her character and to serve the overall production or scene. This year's recipients are Riley Kripe, Monday Cabahog, Walker Mulligan, and Cameron Ludwin. Congratulations. Our outstanding achievement in acting are two students who demonstrate the same qualities of the previous recipients, but have demonstrated them in consistent leading roles in their senior year that showed a depth of professionalism in their approach to the craft of acting and a character and performance that was consistently and highly nuanced throughout their four years at Guilford High School. Moreover, both these recipients have demonstrated dedication, character, collaboration, and leadership in every production that they have participated in since their ninth grade year here at Guilford High School. I'm very proud to to announce the outstanding achievement in acting for 2021 to Cassidy Planas and Wiley Bartels. Our outstanding achievement in technical theater this year goes to a student or students who in the estimation of the technical director have demonstrated outstanding independent leadership, dedication, consistency and community building within the technical theater realm that enhances the overall production and the experience of the GHSTA technicians and actors. This year's recipients are Samantha Gendro, Kelsey Lynch, and Ava Shard. Congratulations. Our IB Theater Award is presented to a student or students in their second year of IB Theater who have demonstrated scholarship and academic excellence in the study of the theater arts through research, creating, preparing, presenting, and critically reflecting on theater. These students have consistently demonstrated an understanding of the theater arts that is comprehensive and sophisticated and shows academic risk taking and a dedication to exploring world theater traditions. I'm very proud to announce the winners of this award are Veronica Zimmer and Lily Meglio. Congratulations. The Genevieve N. Bailey Technical Theater Award honors the memory of Genevieve Bailey, a Guilford resident whose passion for technical theater made an impact on the development of the theater program here at Guilford High School. The award is uh, being presented to a student who is dedicated to the craft of technical theater, who works collaboratively and without complaint, exhibits an uncanny aesthetic awareness that enhances and enriches all the productions that he or she has been a part of. Additionally, this student's embrace of technical innovation, attention to detail, and steady work ethic serve as a superior role model for leadership and service to her peers. This year's recipient is Sabrina Doria. Congratulations. The Renaissance Award recognizes the GHSTA student who demonstrates extraordinary effort incorporating all facets of the performing arts into their work with GHSTA. In doing so, their work serves to foster collaborative relationships and strong community building in the performing arts at Guilford High School. This year's recipient is an active member of GHSTA, is a member of the GHS Voices, and has studied dance. Additionally, she played the role of Cinderella's stepsister in Into the Woods, directed an 
an original piece during our 24-hour play festival and is a diploma student in the International Baccalaureate program, which she's produced outstanding work in the IB Theatre class. It is my pleasure to present this award to Mary Beattie. Congratulations. The David Mikulak Leadership in Theatre Award is given to a student who has demonstrated dedication to leadership, perseverance, self-advocacy, and the creation and promotion of theatre at Guilford High School for all four years, grades 9 through 12. This student's generosity of spirit and dedication to high performance standards have fostered a culture of excellence and respect amongst her peers and has left an important footprint in our program. I'm proud to award this award to Lily Paterza. Congratulations. Our final award of the evening is the Ronald C. Burns Memorial Book Award. This award is given in memory of Ronald Burns, class of 1984. Ron was a trumpet player, a singer, an actor, a writer, a poet, and a composer who performed in the GHS band and jazz band, concert choir, madrigals, and on stage in the annual spring musicals and in the fall plays. After graduating from Guilford High School, Ron studied composition at Oberlin College and the New England Conservatory of Music, and he continued to write and perform until his death in 2003. He was a wonderful, wonderful student at Guilford High School. This award is given to recognize a student who has made a substantial contribution to the theater and or music department at GHS and who plans to major in the performing arts in college. In addition to the book, the student's name will be displayed on a perpetual plaque in our Guilford High School Awards display case in the Commons. Our recipient this year is an extraordinary student whose contributions both on and behind the scenes over the past four years have made them a vital part of our program. The student has worked in the costume department, has performed on stage in the Spring Musical, is a member of the GHS Voices, and has been a longtime participant in the Middletown Stage Company as both a company member and a camp counselor. This student's greatest contribution to GHSTA has been her work as a technical theater crew leader and stage manager. I am continually astonished by the professionalism and aptitude, organizational and communication skills. She is a veritable Lieutenant Uhura on the Star Trek Enterprise Bridge, and this makes her a respected leader amongst her peers. She shows incredible persistence no matter what task is at hand and has a unique ability to unite disparate groups of kids through her calm, quiet, positive demeanor, and warm sense of humor. She's no nonsense and specific, and the systems she's created as a stage manager are crisp and clean and organized and focused. This year, she's completed hours of additional work to revive our chapter of the International Thespian Honor Society, and personally, I'm incredibly moved by her dedication to keeping the theater arts alive during a very challenging year. I think it's safe to speak on behalf of the entire GHSTA company when I say we all walk away from working with her feeling inspired and energized. This student has been accepted into the Pace University's Dyson School for the Performing Arts as one of an elite group of stage management BFA candidates, and I am very proud to present this award to Madison Knobsker. Congratulations, Class of 2021. As you know, I just absolutely adore you guys, and I am so proud of you, and I look forward to the great things you're going to do in the future. GHSTA is left a better place because of you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Megan Marciano, World Language Department Chair at Guilford High School. And it is my honor to represent all of the world language teachers today in honoring the following students who have excelled in world language study throughout their four years here at Guilford High School. They have demonstrated a strong ability to speak, read, listen, and write in their target language and a deep respect for the cultures that these languages represent. For general excellence in Arabic, Eve Young. For general excellence in Latin, Natasha Christian. For general excellence in French, Molly McCann. Julia Decker.
and Veronica Zimmer. For general excellence in Spanish, Emma Rollins. Zoe McClure. Samantha Gendro. And Reese Puchalski. Lou E. Fullington was a former staff member of Guilford High School and a founding charter member of the New England Classical League and believed in the importance of classical education for all students. This prize goes to the Latin student enrolled in the highest level of Latin offered and has excelled in the course. I am pleased to present the Lou E. Fullington Award to Olivia Mead. El Premio de Honor is awarded to a member of the Spanish Honor Society who is enrolled in the highest level Spanish class and has the highest academic average in Spanish for the current school year. I am pleased to award this to Ryan Kornitsky. Congratulations to all, and the World Language Department wishes you continued success in your world language studies. Good evening. At this time, we, we will do our special senior class awards. The first award is the Natalie Fleming Award. This award is given to the student having the highest cumulative academic average after the first three and three quarters years. And that student is Reese Pachalski. Next is the Daughters of the American Revolution Award. The DAR Good Citizen Award is given annually to that senior who has demonstrated qualities of leadership, dependability, service, and patriotism. Its purpose is to help build youthful character and to call attention to those qualities which are desirable in a good citizen. The student selected this year is Kira Stankiewicz. Next is the Elizabeth Leet Award. To the student ranking highest scholastically in the current school year after the third quarter. The student selected was Reese Pachalski. Next is the Rotary Club Service Awards, given to the two seniors who are outstanding academically and also outstanding in leadership accomplishment. The recipients are Robert Haig and Jana Elman. Next award is the Secretary of State Student Citizenship Award. The award recognizes one graduating senior who demonstrates the qualities of active participation in civic or community activities good scholarship and school involvement. This year's recipient is Kira Stankiewicz. Congratulations to all our seniors. I will now pass it on to Ms. Chaff. Thank you, Mr. Raven. For the 2020-2021 school year, I would like to recognize three students with the Principal Award. Our first recipient is Evan Chapman. Not only a hardworking and dedicated student, Evan has consistently given back to his community throughout the pandemic 
by fundraising for charities, collecting food donations for local food banks, and volunteering with the Guilford Cares Program, a local community effort to deliver groceries and personal necessities to the elderly and homebound during the height of the pandemic. In his four years of high school, Evan has donated 178 hours of his time to community service. I want to thank you, Evan, for giving so much of yourself to your community and in the process, making Guilford and the Shoreline a better place to be. Our second recipient is Claire Pringle. Claire has a demonstrated work ethic, integrity, enthusiasm for every undertaking. She is an excellent, well-balanced student with a love for math and science, as well as the humanities, which is not a common trait. She has tutored for Mathnasium and donated much of her volunteer hours to IRIS, an organization in New Haven. IRIS services refugee families who come to the United States under duress, as well as immigrant families. She has helped them by organizing food drives and local fundraising events to support their work. Claire has also contributed much of her time to the GHS Environmental Club. Claire, I think you should be particularly proud of how you've pushed yourself outside of your comfort zone through your volunteer work. By doing so, you've made the greater New Haven County a better place to be. Our last principal award recipient is Lauren Cyrus. No one has the same persevering spirit that Lauren has. Through her four years at Guilford High School, Lauren has challenged herself to rise above obstacles and to become all the stronger for it in the process. She has dedicated herself to establishing and working with the Cultural Competence Committee at Guilford High School. And through that work, has served as a positive change leader in our school. One of the events that she helped plan and coordinate was a Hand High School, Guilford High School Cultural Competence Summit that we did in the spring of 2019. Lauren, I just wanna let you know your time has come. Continue to step in your essence and know that you're excellent. Before we close for the evening, we'd like to recognize the 2021 Valedictorian and Salutatorian. This year's Salutatorian, with a grade point average of 4.6087, is Anthony Ippolito. Anthony, uh, you'll find uh, a salutatorian medal in your cap and gown materials when you come to pick them up. Many congratulations to you for your hard work uh, throughout your four years of high school. And last but not least, the 2021 valedictorian with a grade point average of 4.66 is Reese Pukowski. Um, similarly, Reese, you will find a medallion in your cap and gown materials when you come to pick them up. Many congratulations to you as well. Uh, we look forward to seeing and hearing both of you on the green at graduation. That concludes this evening's festivities. Many congratulations to all of our seniors. We're incredibly proud of you and all of your accomplishments. Thank you and have a great evening.